Once upon a time, there was an idea that there were gods, metaphysical forces, and that humanity is discovering these objective forces. Now, in the modern idea of ethnographers, metographers, various semantographers, anthropologists, the world is a bit upside down. They create dead hybrids of informational research pondering how it is that the ancient humans invented the gods, how to retrace the mythem, how to get the Dumezilian, Durandian idea and all that. What if it is that simple that there are objective forces and humans interpreted it through multiple symbols, semiotics, semantics throughout the experiences, peak experiences whether you combine it with neurotheology or not, but at the very axiom assumption that yes, there are powers and forces, yes, there are spirits and gods, not accessible to all, and to those whom they are not accessible, create a vast array of theories, robust, defending them with all the passion and force and fierceness that they can conjure in their literature, quarreling amongst professors and academics, who is right and who is wrong, the modern science, modern research. But all they do is create dead hybrids, the biotechno-informational informational garbage bin of history. Well, as a person who is a deist, that means believes in ontologically objective forces, I have it all at my disposal and I don't need to pit pick nor create vast array of research which I like to acknowledge. I like to research it. Only to take the parts that acknowledge the existence of ontological forces or to suit this paradigm. Otherwise it would all collapse into nothingness, right? Jamblichus once stated that the basic axiom is there are gods, and the philosophy, theology, religion starts here. It is all man-made. Philosophy, religion, theology, metaphysics, interpretation. But that is the starting point for interpretation, for the miracle to happen, for the greatness of the world to be discovered and unveiled personally, individually, in order for your spirits to join them. Otherwise, those modern philosophers calling themselves philosophers have nothing to do with philosophy, the love of wisdom, which is forever tied with metaphysics. Thank you.